Okay, welcome back again to the channel. On the previous video, we have seen that the, if we have two numbers that can be expressed as the sum of two squares, then the product is also the sum of two squares. And on this video, we're gonna do something similar, but instead of the sum of two squares, we are gonna looking of the sum of four squares. So the claim is that a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared times x squared plus y squared plus c c squared plus d squared can be expressed as the sum of four squares. As the sum of four squares. Okay? And on the previous video, we obtain the identity from the property of multiplication in complex number. So, in this situation, we are going to follow a similar route, but we need to introduce some weird number, which is an extension of a complex number. Which is, and this weird number is called the quaternion. Okay, so the real quaternion is all number that can be expressed as something like this A plus BI plus CJ plus DK where A, B, C are real numbers so remember that the complex number can be expressed as A plus BI so this is something more general than complex numbers and the property of I, J, K is that the square of each of these, i squared, j squared, and k squared, are all equals negative 1. And then, the product between i, j, k, following this diagram, we have i, j, k. If we multiply i, j, using a clockwise direction so i times j will be k but if we use different direction j times i will be minus k okay so it's similar with this rule that we have k times i that's following k to i in clockwise direction, so the result will be plus j. But if we do i times k, which is counterclockwise, then the result will be minus j. And similarly, if we do i j, k i, and then j k, j k will be i, but k j will be minus i. So this is the rule. And then, when multi we multiply two quaternions, then we just use some distributive property along this convention that i squared j squared k squared equals negative 1 and all of this. Okay? So, let's multiply, for example, a plus bi plus cj plus dk with a minus bi minus cj minus dk okay so we are what we are going to do is we want to obtain something similar in complex number which is multiplying a complex number with its conjugate okay so for the quaternion we claim that the conjugate is this guy so let's multiply out everything so let's multiply a with a they're gonna be a squared. If we multiply something that contains i here and then something with also contain i so over there, so the i times i is negative 1, and then b times negative b 
is minus b squared. So overall, this bi times minus bi is b squared, right? So b squared. And then we do the same with this and that. We also have c squared plus d squared, right? Now, uh, we're going to multiply something that something over here with something over there so we end up with uh, with a term that contains i and in order to have something with i there are many options the first option is if we have if we multiply this a here and some with something over here that contains i which is minus bi so if we multiply a times this we have minus ab okay another option is if we multiply this bi and a so we have bai but we pull out the i so we only need to write ba over here over there okay and then cj cj times what in order to have some expression with that contains i so we need to multiply j with something that has k on it because j times k is i Okay, so j times k is i, it's going to be minus cd, and then when we multiply dk and minus cg, that's going to be dc. Okay, do the same for j, for j minus ac, and then bi need to be multiplied with something that contains k, but i times k is minus j, so this is plus bd, and then this plus ca, and then that dk times this minus db, and the last one, in order to have something that contains k, we can get that by multiplying a with minus dk minus ad bi with that minus bc cj with that plus bc and then dk plus a plus ad okay and we can see there are many terms that cancel out that cancel out this with that, this with that, this with that. Okay. So the remaining is magically a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared. Okay. So then, in order to have some identity regarding the product of these two, this is something similar to what we have done with complex numbers. So we can write a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared x squared the first one is a plus bi plus cj plus dk times its conjugate meaning we just uh, change the sign from plus to minus a minus b i minus c j minus d k and then do the same thing for the sum of these four squares x plus y i plus c z j plus t k x minus y i minus c j minus t k all right then we swap the order of the two, so we have a plus b i plus c j plus d k multiply with a minus b i x minus y i minus c j minus t k. All right. So now we need to simplify this. And the way we multiply this, we're going to use this similar method. So we collect everything that does not contain ijk 
and we can have that by multiplying a with x, b i with y i, c j with z j, d k with t k. Okay. So what we have is a x minus b y minus c j c z minus d t. Right. Okay. That is that are the terms that does not have i or j or k. Now the terms that contains i is going to be a y plus b x z k z times k is plus i so plus c t and then k j minus b z okay plus okay plus j j is a z and then i k i k minus minus b t and then c x k times something with i in order to have something with j plus d y okay and then plus k in order to have something with k we have a t and then b z okay and then what else z i j i j i will be minus k so minus c y and then d x Okay. If we call this guy as uh, what gonna be call this guy? Alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Then the product of the remaining two, this guy and this guy, will be alpha minus b i minus gamma j minus delta k. So then the product of these two, if we using this identity, it's going to be alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared plus delta squared. So the product of these two expression is again a sum of four squares. Okay. So now we can write that we have a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared. This indeed can be written as x. This is alpha. Squared. And then the beta is a y plus bx plus ct minus tc squared plus az minus and then plus the delta is at plus bz minus cy plus bx squared. So we have this cool identity that the sum of the product of two numbers so it can be expressed as the sum of four squares or again can be expressed as the sum of four squares and I might make some arithmetic mistake when I recalculate over here so in order to verify you can double check and try to plug in this expression into Wolfram Alpha and see whether the result is the same as the left hand side. Or if you want, you can try to multiply these two and then minus this expression. If the result is equal to zero, then indeed this is the right identity. Okay? Alright, so. That's all for now. So, we have introduced you with the quaternion and the implication of 
the product in quaternion in order to have this nice looking editing. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you again on the next video. Bye.